Hey, what's up guys? Your boys Pilot 2K7 back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 mods video. Today we're taking a look at VMS Plus again by PW Parks fan. Now this mod is not released yet. It is still in beta testing, but it's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys some of the newer updates. Also, if you guys would like to get early access to it and check it out before it is released, definitely check out the Parks Benefactor program. Links to it will be um place in the video description down below so vms plus what is it again it is a mod that is currently in progress it comes with multiple message board trucks as you can see here um last time or last week we used the red and white one a ton of times this is the incident response our uh, department of transportation truck here as you can see has a heavy duty bumper it has red lights because it does respond in emergency mode. And now we have a new one. This is the roadside assistance style. So San Andreas Department of Transportation as well on the top. But this one is more for roadside assistance. So this one doesn't really respond in emergency mode, which is why it only has amber lights, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go around both trucks so you guys can check them out. You can also see the awesome message board boards in the back which we can actually fully customize and just to show you guys how that works let's go ahead and pull up our controller here and let's just put a what should we put let's just pick something let's do this so as you can see once we uh select that oh i'm doing this one over there <laughs> so as you can see disabled vehicle go to the right disabled vehicle go to the right so I could control these things fully. I could put them up and down. You can actually see the hydraulics moving, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's actually get closer since we're set to this one here. So you guys already saw this one a ton of times. I actually want to show you guys the new roadside assistant version. So both of them come with multiple skins. So let's just jump inside so you can see all the different skin options first. So we're going to go to vehicle livery two and you got a white uh, livery with a yellow strip very similar to the emergency response to our right and then we have this one I kind of like this one because it looks it looks it looks different the other one looks kind of too close to the emergency response version so I want to make sure you guys could tell the difference so I'm gonna use the all yellow one and just to show you guys in the emergency truck you also have uh, those two options or actually all three options as well. So we're going to keep this one as the emergency service option since it does have the red lights. I got the incidents response on the board. So we're going to go ahead and shut this one off. So we're going to clear the board, lower the board. So today, guys, we're going to be doing some roadside assistance with this version. So we have our jack, we have our tools, we have our cones. I think we're pretty much ready to go. So let's go ahead and jump in and start our shift, guys. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's go ahead and lower our board first. And another cool thing I forgot to show you guys about this truck as well. Well, both trucks, but you can also control the lights as well. So like, say if you want to turn off all the lights, you could do so. If you want to just have your simple warning lights like this, as you can see, we just have a simple flash pattern in the front and a simple flash pattern in the rear. Um, other cool things you could do is kind of just do like the rear, the rear corners only. Like so. so, as you can see, just the rear corners of the light bars are on, nothing else is on. And if you want a little bit more lighting, you could also add on the tailgate. So now you got some lights down there and you can also cut off all of the front lights. Oops. As you can see, so now the rear lights are still on, but the front lights aren't. So very cool how you could control this one. Um, let's pretty much just turn everything off. So we'll turn all of the lights off and let's also turn off this other one over here before we go. I don't want to leave this truck on. So let's go ahead and turn this truck off. All right, so we'll turn the lights off. And emergency response truck we have used that about five times thank you guys for showing so much love on all of those videos i see you guys really enjoyed all of the vehicles with the emergency response truck if you guys have not already saw all of those videos definitely check them out um everybody seemed to really enjoy it so pretty cool all right guys so we're going to be doing some roadside assistance today um let's actually 
I don't really want to go towards Polito, so let's go ahead and flip around here once we get a chance. Alrighty, ew, that was close. So I know roadside assistance is kind of different from state to state. Most states, or at least in New York, they kind of like patrol the most of the highways and the parkways. Sometimes they kind of just like sit in locations and wait for, like wait to get a call. Sometimes they actively just drive around and patrol. So today we're going to do a little bit of both. Um, we are available. We have our radar and everything in case we have any calls. And we also just will drive around and patrol. Another update, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but the uh, speedometer now works, so that's pretty cool. Another update to the mod there. Alright, so let's uh, get on patrol here. Alright, into the tunnel. Oh, it looks like we got a disabled vehicle here, guys. Gotta turn on my amber light. Whoa! Tow truck! Hello! Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like he just went right into me. Alrighty. What the? Oh my goodness, everybody's crazy. We're gonna need the response truck. Everybody's just crashing. Okay. I understand we're in a tunnel. It's, it's not good visibility in here. Let's go ahead and get the board up. And uh, let's just put a wreck down for now. Or at least this lane. I'll uh, I'll adjust that here in a little in a bit to show that it's just this lane is closed. Let me see if everybody's okay here. Y you guys okay? I don't know. Maybe I did stop too hard. Oh my goodness! All right, let's go ahead and get stop uh, traffic stopped here, so they could at least get into the right lane. Oh, come on, guys! When I say right lane, I mean get over like like into the right lane. I'm already in the right lane. All right, I think they're okay for now. Hi, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm. I'll be with you guys in a second, okay? I'll be with you in a second, sir. All right, let's put down some cones and stuff, cause traffic is gonna get us killed. That's, I think we're okay. Hey, whoa, that was really close. I think we're kind of okay here, but yeah, let's go ahead and start putting down some cones, and then I'm gonna try to put a better message. Let's put a message like, uh, disabled vehicle right lane closed, something like that. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start putting down these cones so that people can get over with plenty of time here. We do have to be careful because there's like a slight curve in the road, so you kind of can't see as you come around the as you come around the turn there. So let's go ahead and just put these down. Oh, come on. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Good job. Good job. See, I'm all right. We're pretty good. All right, and if you guys remember from last episode, I don't want to put it on the line because if I put it on the line, they may not be able to go get around it since there's like a little bit of a invisible box around it. So we're gonna put it slightly to the side here. That's a little bit too much, but it should be okay. All right, traffic is listening. Let's put down a couple cones over here. I don't know if this is going to be too close for them. Let's see. Can they get around this? Looks like they can. Perfect, dude. All right, that should be good from now. Traffic is okay. So let's adjust the sign now. Can't get around these cones. Let's adjust the sign. Let's put something custom here. So let's go ahead and let's probably edit a sequence. And I'm thinking we'll do something like wreck ahead, right lane close, and then left arrow. Something like that should work. So let's go ahead and set that up. Oh my god! Alright, so we're gonna name it wreck ahead right lane.
All right, guys. So let's see if we have our sequence correct. So we're gonna do wreck ahead, right lane close. Oh my God! Did they just hit them? Wreck ahead, right lane close, and then it's gonna be left arrow, and then that's gonna just be a spacer. So let's go ahead and save this to the disk. So it is now saved, and let's make sure it's good. And it looks good to me. Wreck ahead, right lane close and go to the left okay so that should be perfect so we're gonna go ahead and leave our truck here traffic seems to be getting around the cones okay let's see how it looks we still gotta actually help these people <laughs> i'm gonna actually just put down some flares over here as well hopefully it doesn't make everybody freak out i'm not sure if it does but um just because like i said there's like a little bit of a curve in the road so as people coming around that bin i don't want them coming too fast and then hitting us here so let's go ahead and I don't think this is going to affect them, but I don't want them to think I'm like throwing a weapon at them. and They're going to start freaking out. I mean, they're probably going to start freaking out regardless, but yeah, it looks like they're good. All right. So we'll put some flares over here and yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and get to work, guys. Let's see how we can help this vehicle out. looks like they have their hood up. See a driver over there. He's uh, looks like he's inspecting the hood. Oh, we also got a lady in the passenger seat. How you doing, sir? My name is Ace with the Department of Transportation. Can I help you out with anything today? I see that you're disabled here. Did you call for help already? Oh, you didn't call for help. Okay. In the future, sir, if you ever stuck in the highway like this, definitely want to call 911 right away. And you want to be extremely careful because cars are traveling at high rates of speeds and they could easily hit you. And um, yeah, that obviously wouldn't be good. All right, so what's going on? Tell me what's the problem. It looks like your car is uh, smoking here. Is it overheating? You're not too sure? Okay, so I'll take a look at it. I'll see if there's anything I could do. If there's nothing I could do, I'll, I'm gonna have to get a tow truck out here, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at his car. I just wanna watch traffic. Traffic looks okay. All right. So let's see if there's anything we could do here. All right, guys, so I'm just trying to take a look here and see if I can figure out what's wrong. Looks like we got a lot of smoke coming out, so he's overheating. Looks like he's actually low on antifreeze as well. And I'm checking the, yeah, sir, your, your lower radiator hose actually popped out. You see this right here, sir? Yeah, that's your lower radiator hose. That whole thing popped out, all the antifreeze drained out, and that's why your car is overheating right now. So even if we put in some water or if we put in some antifreeze, it's just going to drain right back out. You're going you're gonna to still be overheating, okay, sir? Um, how long were you driving while it was overheating like this? A couple miles. You're trying to make it to Sandy, to sandy Shores? Okay, yeah. Even if we put water on it, like I said... You are not going to be able to make it there. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to get a tow truck for this vehicle, okay? Yeah, I'm going to have to get you a tow truck here. Um, What I'll do, I'll go ahead and get a tow truck out here, and then I'll try to get you guys a taxi or something, all right? Okay. Hello, ma'am. You, you okay inside? In there? Yeah, unfortunately, the car is not going to be able to make it to Sandy Shores, so we're going to go ahead and get a tow truck and get a uh, taxi out for you guys, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get a taxi. Um, for your safety, ma'am, you could just hop out of the vehicle for me. Police! Stop whatever the hell you're doing! Okay. All right, ma'am, so yeah, just I want you to just stay up against this wall, okay? Just stand right up here against the wall. And uh, you too, sir. Just stand up against the wall. Oh, this is why we want you to stand up against the wall, guys. All right, so we got... Oh, my God, this motorcycle's coming through. All right, so we got both of them on the side. That's just for their safety in case a car comes. Looks like our truck got a little bit damaged there. So we're going to have to go ahead and fix that. So let's see if we get a tow truck out here. <laughs> All right, so we just requested a tow truck, and that was some pretty fast service. All right, the tow truck looks like they're about here. Let's get a go ahead and get a taxi here as well. 
I'm gonna get you guys a taxi, okay? All right, here comes the uh, flatbed. All right, there they go. All right, so they're gonna take their car to Sandy Shores. All right, guys, so this guy didn't get them a taxi. So the way that the taxi works though, it's going to only call one taxi. So I can't put them both into the same taxi. So let's call the first, or maybe I could. Let's see if I could just like force one of them to go in the taxi. Let's see, maybe we gotta help her in. If not, we'll just call her her own taxi. So we'll just wait here for the taxi to come. I think, I think this is it right here. Not sure if I could put both of them in there, but I will try. The hell? Nope. Can't put her in there. Alright, ma'am, your taxi should be here in a moment. I don't know why they have a one person uh, rule there, but even if you go into the same location, apparently they, they only allow one person in the vehicle. I apologize about that. Alright, here's your taxi. There you go. All right, so they are good to go. Let's go ahead and start picking up all of these cones here. So that was pretty cool there. If you guys did enjoy, please help the video out. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Also leave some comments down below. So we're gonna go ahead and start picking up all of these cones. And yeah, no, we can just pick them all up, but I figured we we'll kind of role play it out. This guy's put up his middle finger. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Let's go ahead and throw those into the bed there. And let's pick up the last ones. On, let's go. And we'll throw those in. And let's get the heck out of here before we get rear-ended, guys. Let's roll. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start rolling here. Let's go ahead and clear and lower the board. And uh, we can go ahead and turn the lights off. Hopefully that was pretty cool for you guys. And uh, let's continue our patrol. Oh, that's a that's a sheriff. I thought that was a disabled vehicle over there. I was about to say another one. Gonna have a busy day today. Another thing I like about the um, also the the red and oh, our signals are on. Let's turn those off. There we go. Another thing I like about the red and white truck or the um, incident response the emergency truck. I like that it has like the heavy duty bumper on it. That's pretty cool. This one here has like a standard bumper. It's still nice, but I like that heavy duty bumper just in case we gotta like push any cars or anything like that. It really does help out. So let's just follow this all the way down to probably Los Santos and we'll see if there's any other disabled vehicles. And uh, I'm just gonna be watching both sides of the road here. All right, we may potentially have another one here. Go ahead and throw my lights on. All right, so this time when I pulled over, I just hit the, I turned off the yield. I don't know if it mattered the first time, but on the first stop, when I, as soon as I turned my light on, like three cars just smashed into me. I don't know if it had to do with the yield. Maybe they were trying to move out the way and ended up hitting me. I have no idea. But uh, let's go ahead and see if we can help this vehicle out here. And uh, we don't really have to close down the whole right lane, so we'll just probably put like caution or something. Since we don't really have to close the whole lane for this. Let's raise that board up and let's put caution for now. Or we could do disabled vehicle actually, let's do that. I just want to leave my car out a little bit just in case this guy gets out or anything um, as he's getting out cars won't like sideswipe them all right so disabled vehicle left arrow let's see what's up with this guy here hello sir okay can you roll down the window just go ahead and tap on his window there all right, so he actually rolled it down, if you guys noticed. 
Hello, sir. My name is Ace with the Department of Transportation Roadside Assistance. Anything I can help you out with today? Uh, your car cut off. You know why? Oh, I ran out of gas. Okay. All right. Um, there's a gas station right up the road. I could um, I could get you a tow truck out here if you want to. If you want to tow it to the gas station, get some gas, or that may take a while. I could I could also I could also probably just pull you there. I got some tow straps, so we could go ahead and pull you to the gas station. It's literally like less than a mile away. Okay. All right. So just stay in your vehicle, okay? And um, I'm going to go ahead and pull in front of you, and I'm going to try to attach, okay? All right. So let's go ahead and see if we could tow this vehicle. I think we could. We should have more than enough power with this Silverado. All righty. So we're going to try to tow this guy here. Oops, that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to look at all the other messages we have here. We could probably use like maybe the follow message or something here. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we could attach the uh, rope to him. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and attach that. Let's go ahead and attach it to his car as well. All right, just trying to attach the uh, tow straps to the bottom of the vehicle there. And it looks like we got it secured. All right, perfect. All right, so we got that attached. I'm not sure why it's kind of like see-through like that. It's kind of glitching out. Let's see if we can fix that. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. All right, so let's let them know the plan. All right, sir. Oh, this window's rolled up. Okay, sir, you're gonna wanna put it in neutral, okay? Put it in neutral. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start towing you. We're gonna go kinda slow, okay? Um, if you see me braking, I just need you to press the brake before you roll into me, all right? If you see me uh, moving forward, just let go of the brake and just let the car um, go, okay? And keep the steering wheel straight for the most part, all right? All right, perfect. All right, so we're gonna try to tow this vehicle. This should be good. Let's go ahead and jump in here, get this thing turned back on. Go ahead and shift it back into gear. I'm putting low gear for this, since we're gonna be towing here. All right. All right, we're, we're moving. We are moving, guys. All right. So I'm not sure if we're going to stay in the shoulder. I don't want to pull them too fast. So we'll probably just maybe stay in the shoulder and try not to go into, like, the highway. Unless we have to, because these cars going by us, they're going past us at, like, 60 miles per hour. So I don't really want to tow this guy at 60 miles per hour. So we'll just take it nice and easy here. Now, if you guys are enjoying the series, you guys want to see some more roadside assistance, definitely let me know by leaving some comments down below. And also give me some ideas on um, things we should do for roadside assistance. And also, don't forget about the, um, the response truck as well. If you guys have any ideas for the response truck, the one with the red lights, that responds in emergency modes to calls, definitely let, uh, let me know again down below in the comment section. So we should have just about a mile to pull this guy. It shouldn't take us too, too long. We should be there pretty shortly. All right, he seems to be okay back there. Now, I don't think this is something that roadside assistance would normally do. They're not gonna really pull or, like if they're pushing your vehicle or pulling your vehicle, they're normally just trying to get it out of the uh, traffic lanes and, and just trying to get it onto the shoulder. I don't think they would actually like try to like, you know, take you to the nearest gas station or something like that. But um, I figured it would be something cool. I gotta watch out for this tree here. All right, let's get back over. 
But the highway, I mean, not the highway, the gas station should be coming up any second now. Speaking of that, has any of you guys ever ran out of gas before while driving? I'm not going to lie. I have one time. And it was crazy. Like, I literally knew I was going to run out of gas. Like, when I was leaving my house, I was with my friends. I was like, you know what? As we were leaving, I ran back into my backyard to grab a, gra a gas can because I was like, I know we're going to run out of gas, guys. So let me just bring my gas can. And, you know, I could have easily just drove to the gas station because the gas station was two blocks from my house. But I don't know. For whatever reason, I just, like, decided, no, I'm not going to get gas but i'm gonna bring a gas can because i know i'm gonna run out of gas so we're driving on the parkway and then yep we ran out of gas so we had to walk to the gas station luckily there was a gas station on a parkway we just passed it so we just had to walk back like probably like two minutes walking back and then um we was able to get gas so i just got out to see what side the um fuel door was on but it looks like with the default GTA cars, they don't model on the field doors like with the modded cars like this. So we're just going to assume that the field door is going to be on his left side. All right, so you should be able to get the gas now. Let's go ahead and detach. We can also turn off this board as well. And uh, we'll probably turn off our lights. Let's uh, let's do something cool. Let's do simple. So simple warning lights. We don't need all the lights on right now. So keep it nice and simple. All right. So he should be able to get some gas. Okay, sir. You should be able to get gas. You're good from here. Okay, perfect. All right. You have a good day and be safe. Okay. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and get some gas. I think I'm gonna go ahead and park up and probably get some, um, let's get something out of the convenience store maybe. Let's see what they have in there. All right, so let's go get some snacks. He's filling up his car now. You're going right. to buy something? Yes. Uh, yes, sir, how you doing, buddy? Uh, let's get let's get some coffee and donuts. I like my vanilla sprinkled donuts. What's your favorite type of donuts, guys? Let me know in the comments section. And let's get some uh, let's get some coffee too. All right, get on our coffee. All right, so let's go ahead and pay for all this stuff. Since I'm a free mode character, even though we have like $3 million on the top right, since I'm not like Franklin, Michael, or Trevor, I can't buy anything, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to role play that part. All right. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. All right. So let's go ahead and get going. All right, guys. So it looks like the guy got his gas. He is leaving. So we will be doing the same. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, again, make sure you guys hit the like button. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, guys, enjoy the rest of your Monday. Happy holidays um, to everybody. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.